All praise is going on to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ahawah Kakudash, which is in the Hebrew tongue, is meaning all praise to the Most High. His true name and correct name and only name is Yahweh. All right, in the name of his son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus and stubbornly calls Jesus, his his true and, cor and correct name is Yahweh Shai. All right, what Kakudash means, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And uh, honorable mention to the brothers prophesying in uh, truth and correct doctrine. And peace to the hopeful elect. Now, the title of this lesson is called uh, Rejecting Counsel Can Lead to Death. And uh, I'll get an a immediate example of that before I get some, some scriptures. This is uh, some more scriptures. This is Second Samuel 6 and 6. And when they came to Nacon's threshing floor, Uzzah put forth his hand to the Ark of the Most High and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it. And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against Uzzah, and the Most High smote him there for his error. And there he died by the Ark of the Most High because he wasn't supposed to touch it. That was the command. That was the counsel. That was the advice given. Don't touch the Ark of the Lord. So him thinking sometimes when you, uh, you can think you're doing something good, but if it's disobedient, is wrong like samuel okay so when you read the story of samuel samuel so like you uh samuel was involved but saul particularly saul did uh things which may seem it may seem good all right but it uh it didn't go well so let's get that this is uh proverbs 14 and 12. It says, uh, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So you got things that seem right, but eventually it'll lead to death if it's disobedient to the word of the Lord. Like when, uh, when you read the, what we just read in Second Samuel uh, chapter 6, uh, the ox shook it when you go into the note that my, my, uh, my app got. For the oxen shook it, right? Translators know it stumbled. So uh, more than likely Uzzah perceived that the ark was from the fall. So he reached out and tried to catch hold of it and, you know, make sure it didn't fall or what have you. But that was disobedient nonetheless, regardless of uh, of what it may have seen that he was doing a good thing. One more quick one uh, involving Samuel. I, mean, I keep saying Samuel. Uh, Saul. Oh, uh, really? I must have spelled something wrong. So I can bear with me one second. Uh, oh, it says obey. Okay. This is 1 Samuel chapter 15 and 22. And Samuel said, Have Yahweh as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of, of Yahweh, of the Lord? Because uh, uh, Saul was commanded to burn and destroy everything. But Saul said, Oh, wait a minute. We're going to take the best things, you know, without spot, without blem without blemish, and sacrifice that to the Lord. But wait a minute. It was commanded to burn everything. So this is what uh, Samuel was replied. It says, Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Now, when you go into the law, it says, Suffer not a witch to live. So disobedience and, and rebellion is uh, likened unto witchcraft. So like, basically, because you know when you go into law, different you know sins got different uh, punishments. So the punishment of rebellion is like you should be put to death. Even when you go in the scripture and, it's, and it speaks about having a rebellious son, they say bring him out that the uh, the elders may stone him. Roughly paraphrasing. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Okay, now, now let's get something. Um, let's go to the Adam online. Okay. This is Etymology Online. This is the word advice. Um, I'm just going to get to the point. Meaning, opinion offered as worthy to be followed. Counsel. So, as being in the truth, as being men of the Lord, uh, hopeful, the hopeful elect, our um, opinion or our advice or our counsel is worthy to be followed because it's, it's coming from... Um, the Bible. All right. So when you I'm, I'm saying like, you know, a genuine, you know, when you get genuine advice from a man of the Lord, not someone that uh, holds the truth with, uh, you know, hold uh, their liberty as a cloak of malicious. I'm saying like a genuine man of the Lord, you know, giving you advice. Thus said the scripture like, no, nah, I don't do that because this says this. And, th you know, like real advice. By you listening to what he said, you're not just listening to him you're listening to the lord all right let's get we're gonna go back to that definition we're gonna get this uh malachi 2 and 7 it says for the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth for he is the messenger of yahweh by shimmy lord all caps is the most high's name it says, for he is the messenger of Yahweh of hosts. So the message that he's giving you is coming from the Lord. You know, it's filtered through the scripture, coupled with his experience to give you a full, uh, a, a full view, a full imagery of what not to do or what to do, you know. So uh, let's go back to the, uh, the Apocrypha. Okay, let me see. It just is a uh, Ecclesiastic is known as Sirach, chapter 34, verse 9. It says, The man that hath traveleth knoweth many things, and he that hath much experience will declare wisdom. Yeah, you got brothers that, uh, you know, been many places, live many places, different climates, different regions, different countries, you know, different states. Might grew up in the ghetto with Jake, might have been, uh, went to school and college with, uh, with Esau. Might have lived in a, amongst all different types of various heathens, you know. So, in this truth, everybody got their different walks of life, you know. And then you got elders within, you got the apostles and the elders. Then you got elders within the camps, which gives you a, a, a 360 a, a three sixty buffet, so to speak. I can't think of the word right now. Of different experiences and, and viewpoints and knowledge that you can pick and grab from. So, you don't got to make... You don't have to make the same mistakes that they made. You know what I mean? Or they can give you advice like, yeah, I've been down that path many times, and this is what I learned. And, and, and on top of that, now here's some scriptures that go with it, you know? Verse 10, he that hath no experience knoweth little, but he that hath traveled is full of prudence. Yeah, if you're a man of the Lord, if you got the proper wisdom, and you did a lot of traveling, you're full of prudence. You know, don't go down a dark alley, you know? But uh, experience, experience is basically being put into positions to execute your knowledge or to execute uh, what you know. Because you can sit, you can go to, uh, like, uh, like at my job, uh, the plant manager is, a, uh, is an Edomite. Well, I'm going to say a so-called white man. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know what he is. But he looks white. He's a so-called white man. I don't, I don't, his spirit is, you know, some, some people are harder than others. But he has all this. He got ex he got college experience. He don't have a lot of hands on experience. But then you got guys that got a uh, hands on experience, and he don't understand fully. He don't really he don't he don't got the full concept on the level that the other guys have because they actually got that that experience of applying of applying what they know of, of trial and error. You know what I mean? So that's what experience is. You can read, you can read, and you can read the Bible, and you can read the scriptures, and you can read what the men of the Lord did when they was put into si different situations. But when those situations come upon you, and you don't execute what they did, 
then you don't gain experience. If you don't, if you don't seek counsel from the man that's above you and that's been there and see what they did, then you can be left. Uh, you can uh, be left without prudence, or you know, you. We'll get into that in Sirach thirty-two, because when you reject counsel, it's uh. It's prideful, especially being in his truth. It says, one who you deem worthy to receive. Matter of fact, let's go back to that. Advice, meaning opinion offered as worthy to be followed. Counsel, their, their, their opinion is worthy to be followed because they're a man of the Lord. And you respecting them as a man of the Lord. You follow it because you accept that as the word of the Lord. Because they're not giving you their own their own from their own belly they're not giving you their own opinion they're giving you their opinion based off experience backed up by the holy bible all right uh, let me get another one no this isn't uh so like you Okay. Okay, this is Hebrews five and fourteen. But strong meat belonged to them that are of full age. Even those who by reason of use, by reason of use, that means they have executed, they have been applying the scriptures. Not just reading them and, and having the breakdown, but actually being put in situations where you're doing what the Bible told you to do. All right? If you don't got understanding, lay hold in your mouth. Boom. You know, those are, those are some, some simple things that, because uh, everybody want to be... Uh, well, a lot of people want to be respected for not to be knowledgeable. But, hey, if you ain't got understanding, lay hold on your mouth. That's what the Bible tells you to do. Okay? It says, uh, examine, uh, examine before thou hast judged. Roughly paraphrasing. Blame not, examine, examine, blame not before thou hast examined the truth, I believe. That's one. Because it's, it's easy to make an opinion without a, uh, Without the without the whole truth, all right. It says uh, even those by who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil, and those the apostles and elders, and then the elder brothers above you, whether they've been you know years above you, or or decades above you, uh, you know. But they've been had their senses exercised to discern good and evil, so you know it's a. Uh, it's good to uh, follow up under. It's good to. It's good you can you can save yourself a whole lot of trouble by learning from the mistakes of others, and that's you know that's a good way to look at it. Like you got a you got an older brother in the truth, and you go to him for advice, and he and he directs you not to do something or to do something. Hey, if you deem him worthy for advice and counsel, like we went back. To the Elamaja, the word, word advice, because he's a man of the Lord, and he and he giving you advice. Thus said the Lord. Then that you can save yourself a whole lot of trouble. You can save yourself even death. You know. But I'll get a uh, going back to the apocrypha. Sirach chapter thirty-two, starting at eighteen. I started seventeen. It says a sinful man will not be reproved. But find it an excuse according to his will. Now, the, uh, what is? How do you reprove? There's a certain way you reprove. You don't just get to speaking out of your own belly, out of your own heart, out of your own feelings. Is that you know? It's a certain way. This is second. Um, uh, no, it ain't that. It's uh, I think it's reproof. I'm uh, so lucky. I'm paraphrasing a lot of uh. Yeah, yeah, here you go. 
2 Timothy 3 and 16, it says, All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable. What do they got for profitable? Help, helpful or serviceable, advantageous. So it's to your advantage. The scripture is to your advantage. All right? For doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And Amos 3 and 7 says, Surely the Lord does nothing, but he reveal his secrets through the servants of the prophets. Okay? The Lord speaks through his men. So if you recognize these men or the men over you as the men of the Lord, then you recognize the advice, the counsel, the rebuke, the reproof, the correction that they're giving you as being from the Lord. So, and if you recognize that from the Lord, then it's what? It's profitable. It's advantageous to you. So it will behoove you to listen to it. All right? So let's go back to Sirach. So it says, a sinful man will not be reproved. So a sinful man will not listen to uh, the man of the Lord that uh, rebukes him in the doctrine of the Lord, that corrects him in the doctrine of the Lord. And when I say doctrine of the Lord, I mean according to the Bible. It says, but find an excuse according to his will. Like when somebody dealing with you and you just says, but, and I, I heard, I can't remember what brother I heard say that, but when you says, but, you negate everything that was given. Yeah, I hear you, I, but, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, 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 but, yeah, 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 but, you know. Anyway, verse 18, it says a man of counsel will be considerate. So, yeah, you got to get some counsel. And when you consider when you consider things, uh, you weigh the matter. You weigh things out. Okay, you actually considering it. You you turning it over in your head. You pondering it. Okay, this is how I feel, but this is the advice I get. He's more experienced than me. I'm based off emotion right now. Let me remove my person, my my person, my personal feelings from the situation and be reasonable. Okay, the scripture uh, speaks about. Uh, let reason go before, let's get that, and we're going to go back to that. You got to let reason go before every, every enterprise, all right? Enterprise. In the apocrypha. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, oh, they got prize with a Z. Ecclesiasticus 37 and 16, it says, Let reason go before every enterprise. So before every endeavor, everything you embark on, every plan of a course of action, let reason go before. You got to be reasonable. You can't be buying Jordans and you ain't paid your car note. You know, simple. And counsel before every action. So, you, you know, counsel... It's, it's wise to get counsel, okay? Back to Sirach 32. It says, uh, a man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. And daunt, uh, dauntless mean fearless. Uh, so, oh, so if you're not daunted with fear, that means you're fearless. The, the, the scripture says a wise man will fear in everything. It also says, be careful for nothing. I myself had to deal with that. Okay. It says, uh, even when of himself, he have done without counsel. So you done did something without no count. You done did some fearlessly, recklessly with no counsel. And just like, ah, uh, whatever, you know. Verse 19, do nothing without advice. And when thou hast once done, repent not. So do nothing without advice. Hey, you get advice from, um, you get advice, you're supposed to be getting your advice from a man of the Lord. So you get advice from a man of the Lord, you know, and he gave you sound advice and you, and you executed it. Hey, repent not, you know, because, uh, ultimately you, you put it in the Lord's hands because that, that man of the Lord told you something and you, and, and, and he's, he's, he's over you. He's above you. He got more experience than you. He's had his conscious exercised, you know? Hey, repent not. Hey, you 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 took sound advice. Now the scripture says have one counselor out of a thousand. So it's a balance to it. Now if if you recognize someone to be a counselor over you, you know, a, a older brother over you, or sometimes it might be a 
a brother that's equal to you just got more experience or, or on this level or this matter because you know everybody got their different lot one brother might be have better advice dealing with women this brother might have better advice with uh dealing in in the world of esau esau's field or you know whether it be the housing or you know whatever so be not a uh, repent not you know don't 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 turn back from it you know and with that lord willing this was the edifying lesson all right all praise to yahweh bashem yahweh shalom Shalom.